Lorelei the lascivious sat upon her throne of bones, the skulls of those she'd brought to ruin serving as steps beneath her feet. Her long, flowing hair spilled over the armrests like a waterfall of white silk, its tips brushing against the cool surface of the chair. The horns atop her head gleamed in the candlelight, casting eerie shadows across her face. She wore a form-fitting outfit that clung to her every curve, revealing just enough skin to make mortal men weak in the knees and send female admirers into fits of envy. Her crossed legs revealed toned thighs and smooth, unblemished skin, contrasting sharply with the skulls below. Her eyes narrowed as she scanned the room, taking in the many candles flickering on the stands around her. Each wick represented a soul, a life force she'd claimed for herself. The stars twinkling above her head were not mere celestial bodies. They were portals to other realms, gateways through which she could summon untold horrors and wonders. The keys at her side represented the keys to eternity itself, the ability to open doors that mortal minds couldn't even begin to comprehend. As the High Priestess of Sordid Sin, she was in charge of leading her followers down a path of hedonism and debauchery, showing them the pleasures of the flesh and the delights of the mind. She was their guide through the darkest corners of the human soul, indulging in the sins that lesser mortals tried so desperately to ignore, and she revelled in her power over them all. Her enigmatic smile curved upward, a silent promise of decadent delights yet to come. As she reached out to caress one of the candles, its flame danced higher, reflecting off her horns like tiny spears of fire. She leaned in closer, her breath fanning the flames as she whispered words in an ancient language that only she knew. The wax began to melt, dripping onto her hand and pooling at the base of the candle ready to be snuffed out by her delicate fingers. She was the embodiment of transgression, the personification of all that was taboo and dark and forbidden, and she delighted in every moment of it. She sat upon her throne, ruler of a realm where debauchery reigned supreme, and the only rule was to break every other rule. She was beauty and the beast, an enigma wrapped in black silk and bone, and she owned the night and as the candle's flame sputtered and died, she let out a soft, satisfied sigh, knowing that another soul had returned to the oblivion from whence it came. She looked up at the ceiling, its intricate patterns of stars and moons reflecting her own power and influence, and felt an overwhelming sense of satisfaction course through her veins. Lorelei the lascivious was truly a force to be reckoned with, and all who dared cross her path did so at their own peril for in the realm of sin she reigned supreme.